Cortland played his first nine holes of actual golf today. Check out this technique, which puts the pause at the top of Hideki Matsuyama's backswing to shame and also involves tracing a heart on your glove hand. What an amazing shot. <laughs> Needless to say, he carded the first ever 40-0 on a hole in the history of golf. All right, today we are doing B-Girl. Now, listen, Jeff changed the way he did it between sometime in between 1994 and 2016. So today, in the effort of always having more Pearl Jam videos to do, I'm going to show you the way he does it more recently, and that way someday we can visit the other way too, because that should be fun. And this is for Chris E., Lame Hainsworth, Daniel Gutierrez, Thomas Varnell, and Savio Lopez. I haven't said that name in a while. What's up, Savio? And everybody else. All right, let's do it. And to accomplish this, you need to tune your guitar in, surprise, a really wacky way. So E, regular, A, regular. Our D string is going to go down two notes to C. It's going to sound like that. G, regular. Your B string is going to go down two notes to A. Two half steps, right? And your baby E string stays the same. And now, when you put your middle finger on the A string 3rd fret and your ring finger on the B string 3rd fret and strum it all, you have a C chord. That's a lot of trouble to go through to get a C chord, but you'll see as we move it around why he did that. This song is a waltz. It's in three counts, so it's going to use the strumming pattern that all waltz three count songs use, which is down, up, down, up. The whole entire song over and over and over and over again. The verse, ultra simple. This shape, never changes. We're going to do third fret, that's C, and because uh, that's two A strings now, right? So we have C and C, and the rest of the strings are open C chord notes. So this is sort of like a Coldplay E way of doing it. So we got third fret C, fifth fret D. Or C, D, C, C. One, two, three, one. In the original recording version, you hear a low G chime in there. Which you can accomplish with your pointer finger, since it's left if you're using these two fingers. Anyways, that's it for the verse. is kind of just as easy. We're going to go up to the 12th fret. Now notice this whole time, except for if I hit that low G for fun, I'm not strumming the low E string. So 12th fret, 15, 14, 10, 3, I love that song. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. I'm glad we did it today. Thank you for the excellent request, everybody, and I hope you find that to be enjoyable. Gosh, that was short. See you next time with more stuff. Goodbye. <laughs>